Good day, everyone. I'm Auntie Candice, Principal of Small Treasures Child Care. And today, I'll be teaching you the importance of early stimulation in your baby. What is early stimulation? This is an, a set of actions that are needed in order for your babies to be developed, whether physically, socially, emotionally, or cognitively. It is so sad that COVID is here, but guess what? Even though your babies are not able to see their family members, we can try to fix that. All right, first let me introduce you to little Joshua. Say hi, Joshy. Here is baby Joshua. And baby Joshua has not seen his family members. He has never seen them before because he was born during COVID. But I'm going to fix that. So, hey, baby Joshua. Mommy's going to show you Uncle Billy. Here is Uncle Billy. Uncle Billy, Uncle Billy, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Guys, you can try this at home with your babies. Show them the pictures of their family members. It helps them to know who they are. And at least whenever they do see them, they will, you know, be smiling with them and the face will be familiar. Don't just do it one time. All right, here is little cousin Jane. She's longing to see you. Talk to them, guys. It helps to build their language as well. Here is cousin Jane. Cousin Jane, cousin Jane, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Guys, it also helps them to feel secured. It also helps with bonding, very much important. Here is Abigail. Abigail, can't wait to see you, baby Joshy. Yes, we can't wait to play with you. And guess what, while you're doing it, give them a happy face. You don't want a sad baby. We want happy babies, right? Yes, definitely. Here is Auntie Joyce. Auntie Joyce can't wait to see you. Auntie Joyce, Auntie Joyce, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Awesome. Listen, we want them to feel protected. Build that connection with them so that whenever they do see auntie, uncle, cousin, they, that those faces will be very much familiar with them. Early stimulation is very much important. Another thing is, guess what? We want them to be ready. We want to develop their motor skills. You know what is so important? Tummy time. <gasps> what is tummy time? Oh my God, that's just the most exciting thing for the babies. They don't want to be in your hands for the whole time. Guess what you do? You put the baby on a very comfortable mat, one that is padded, which will hinder him or her from being in an accident. It is mouth on anything, put it down, spread it down. Ensure that you have a very big space. You put little Joshua down on his tummy. Doing this will assist him in developing that muscle, his neck muscle, so that he'll be able to raise his muscle, his, his neck properly. There are times when they want to roll over. It teaches them how to roll over too. Give them that chance, that opportunity to roll over, right? And guess what? You have to ensure that this area is very colorful, pretty, conducive for them. It grabs their attention. Let me give you an example. For tummy time, ensure that you have soft toys around for them. Guess why? You can't have the hard ones because when you have hard toys, it can cause an accident. We don't want that to happen. So you have the soft toys around for them to play with. You try to tease your baby with the soft toys. You know, they, they're looking at this. They just want to reach over for it. So they are going to try. So you try to put it over here and allow him or her to see it. And they will, make, they will try to make an effort to reach for the ball. Now, it is very important because it helps, it, it helps to develop their gross motor skill. Yes, it's very, gross motor skill is very important, which later it will help them to walk, creep, even climb. Very much important. Ensure that they are soft toys, as I said before. Here we have a soft block. And while they're doing it, while they're on their tummy, 
sing to them, be happy, be friendly, nice. So you sing to them, come on little Johnny, here we go, go Johnny, you know, and demonstrate what you want too, they will try to imitate. You can sing little songs to them as well while they're on their tummy, massage their feet, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And guess what, guys? You may think that that's too advanced for Johnny, but no, it's not. You have to teach him from this stage. The early stage is the early stages are the most important stages for the baby. Now, when you do that with them, when you do that with them, you have to, they're, they're actually, when you repeat, when you repeat, when you repeat the songs, repetition is always good for the children because it helps them to understand what you are saying. It also helps them to remember and also helps them to repeat the words. So they're actually building their language. So while he or she's on their tummy, you know, you sing to them. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You can even roll them over too. Demonstrate what you want them to do. And they will try doing it on their own. Okay? Definitely. Here's a ball. Let's roll the ball. Here, little, here, little Joshua. Come on, little Joshua. And Joshua will try to lift his head, building that neck muscle. Later, Joshua starts turning over. Wow, isn't that awesome? And let me tell you something, parents. I know for you, you may not be at home. You may have a caregiver there. Speak with your caregiver. You can teach them also. Tell him what you want. Now, guess what? While the baby is on his or her tummy, it's not a moment for you to sleep. No, you have to keep watching them. Watch them. You don't want nothing to happen while you're asleep. It's not your moment to sleep, guys. And guess what? Ensure that the surface is clean. The mats must be clean every day. After the baby gets up, after you're finished the baby, you put the baby to sleep, then you ensure that you clean under the surface, right? So that no insect or anything can be under there, which you know will harm the baby. All right? Definitely. This is so much fun. They like it. It's their fun, not yours. Their fun. So it's very much important that you stimulate them. You can also read stories to them. Yes, definitely. So you have your baby in the lap here and you're reading the story. Show them the picture of what you're reading. Ensure you have large pictures, colorful pictures. Let them touch it too. You talk to them, hey Johnny, this is a crab. Yes, look at this. Wow, I'm seeing the fish. The fish lives in water. Yes, guys, they, are on, they, they will understand eventually. Don't think that because they are so small, they are not grasping whatever you are teaching them. But one day, you, you, you'll be so frightened to hear them with it. Look, Johnny, here's an octopus, right? So I guess what, well, you have to project your voice. The doggy says, woof, woof, peekaboo. It's the doggy. Integrate everything you are doing. You still go back to showing them Cousin Jane. Peekaboo, it's Cousin Jane. Wow, Cousin Jane can't wait to see you. And you tickle them, you play with them so they can feel comfortable. Guys, it's very much important that your baby is comfortable with you. You know, they need to know their body parts, everything like that. So build that relationship, build that relationship with them so that they will be confident in themselves. They'll be confident, they will have confidence in you too as their parents. So that, you know, whenever they see you, they won't be crying or anything like that. Or whenever they see auntie, they will know that this is auntie or this is cousin. Definitely it works. It do, it does work. Look, it's a yellow block, Johnny. Yellow. I'm a Rio. Guess what? Don't think that they are too small for you to introduce Spanish to them, you know? No, it, no, they're not. Just use both languages and it works. I'm a Rio block. Yellow. Allow the baby to touch it too. Because the baby may be trying to reach the block for herself or himself. But try, you know, 
Let them touch it as well. Try to build the fine muscles. All right. Look at this. So while you have your baby, the guys, the rattle is so important. Why? It helps to build listening skills and it also helps to grab their attention. Move it up and down. Move it from left to right, which normally helps to build your eye muscles as well. Look at that. Hey, Johnny. So parents, not because they're home or not because the, the baby can't, be, can't get a chance to go to school or daycare, but all these things you can do with him or her during COVID. Yes, just to stimulate them. Stimulation is very important so that later they will be definitely ready. All right, definitely be ready later. Now ensure that, remember right, I said before that you should ensure that the toys are soft, soft for them to touch themselves, play with them, play with them themselves, helps to build their fine motor skills. What, is, what, what, what do we mean by fine motor skills though? I know some parents may be asking that question. Fine motor skills have to do with the fine muscles so that later they'll be able to hold things in their hands and they're not, you know, fall out easily. They will also be able to write, builds their muscles. So it's important at this stage for you as parents to help to build their fine motor skills through giving them soft toys to, to squeeze, roll the ball. You know, these things are important for later on. So it's very important for you to interact with your babies while they're there. Don't just leave them on a mat with the expectation of them developing these skills on their own. They definitely need your help, right? All right, now let's look at body parts. Body parts. Why do they need to know their body parts? Hold on, guys. I have to introduce to someone. All right, look at this. Here we have Jane. Say hello, Jane. Wow. Jane is 12 to 18 months and she is so busy. You know, when they reach 12 to 18 months, they feel as if they know everything and they can do everything. Oh no, mommy, I can do it on my own. I know what to do. No, and it's all about no for them. No, no, no. But Jane needs to know her body parts. She needs to know the names of her body parts and things that her body parts can do. Now, Jane, your mommy's going to teach you about your body parts. Why is it so important? It is very important that children know their body parts because guess what? Guess what? Now, think about it. For example, Jane is feeling pain, but Jane is just there crying, crying away and you don't know why she's crying. Jane, what's wrong with you, Jane? Jane can't state what's wrong because she doesn't know what to say. Now you take Jane to the doctor and Jane is unable to tell the doctor what's wrong, what, what, where is hurting. So it's very important for her to know her body part. But guess what, you can do it at home, you can start. School is out, some schools are out, but you can do it at home with your babies. You can teach them their body parts in a fun way. Not to say, Jane, this is your hand, this is your nose. Uh-uh, let's use it in a fun way. Let's go. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose, my nose. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, touch your knee. If you're happy and you know it, touch your knee. 
If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, touch your knee. Guess what, Jane? You have two knees. Guess what, guys? You can also teach them these things. Teach them the number of body part, parts that they have. You have two knees. You have two eyes. Touch your eyes, Jane. No, you don't do the touching for her or for him. Ask them to do it on their own. Touch your eyes. So it's best that you imitate, you, you do it, you, you demonstrate and allow the child to imitate, right? Touch your eyes, eyes. Then if, if not, if they're not doing it, you can also do it. Touch your eyes, eyes. And this helps to build your language as well. Yes, so touch your nose, nose, your nariz. Yes, integrate the Spanish, guys. Yeah. You can have your babies doing so many things when they're ready for school. When they start school, you're, you'll be so surprised to hear the number of things that they can do because you, the parents, have taught them at home. Guess what, too? You know what I just thought about? I just thought about bath time. Perfect time to teach them about their body parts. Yes, guys. Now, take, for example, you have Jane. You're giving Jane a bath. Giving Jane a bath. Robin James, 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 Tommy. Here is your Tommy Jane. This is the way we wash our Tommy. Wash our Tommy. Wash our Tommy. This is the way we wash our Tommy. Early in the morning. This is the way we wash our face. Wash our face wash our face this is the way we wash our face early in the morning isn't that amazing if you do this every day oh my you'll be so surprised to hear jane doing it by herself you are be surprised to hear that jane knows her body parts you're like oh my jane knows her body parts she has been saying it you may hear you may maybe you hear her you know saying one or two of them but Progress is being made, definitely. Wow, this is the way we wash our hair, wash our hair, wash our hair. This is the way we wash our hair early in the morning. It is very much important for the children to know the names of their body parts. Let's not give them any other name but what they, the name that they definitely have. All right, so that they can relate. Okay, guys? Yes, very much important. And about to talk to your baby, talk to your children, teach them about colors, anything at all that's there, anything, anything in their environment. And remember, their environment must always be conducive for learning. Colorful, with prints, words, letters. Each day you go over them with them. And trust me, you would regret it. They'll definitely be ready, ready for school. Okay, I'm going to read Jane a story. Wow. Jane, are you ready for Auntie, for mommy to tell you a story? All right, let's go, Janie. Guys, you have to be very theatric. Yes, as parents, as caregivers, you want to grab their attention. And like I said before, you would like to have a, a happy baby. So I'm going to teach Janie about the animals. Hey, Jane. Old MacDonald had a farm. Ea, ea, oh. And on that farm, he had some ducks. Ea, ea, oh. With a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, here a quack, 
Everywhere a quack, quack, old MacDonald had a farm. Ea, ea, oh. Here, Janie, look at the duck. And the duck has beaks. He has a beak right here. Guys, Jane is 12 to 18 months. And Jane is listening. And she's also learning to develop her language. Don't you want to have a talking child? You want your child to start talking from early? These are some of the things that you should do with him or her to develop their language. Even if you have him or her alone at home, they may not have any cousins or a sister, maybe a only sibling. You do these things with them so that they can start talking from early. And the worst thing is the fact that COVID is here and they are not you know, going out anymore to do their playtime with other friends. You have work to do as parents and as caregivers as well. The dog says, quack, quack. The dog says, quack, quack. Keep doing it, guys. Remember I said before, repetition is good. It allows them to understand what you're saying and always to remember and repeat what you're also saying. Here is the duck. Wow, and the duck lives in what? The duck loves water. Wow, who is this? The doggy. You know what is a good thing about it? There may be a dog at home. So at least you show Jane this dog here, this play dog here, and you also show her the real one, show her what the real one looks like. Old MacDonald had a farm, ea, ea, oh. And on that farm he had some duck dogs, ea, ea, oh. With a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there. Era roof, era roof, everywhere a roof, roof. Old MacDonald had a farm. Ea, ea, oh. Look, Janie, here is Mr. Doggy. Mr. Doggy says hello. Wow, and this dog has brown ears. The doggy says, and you allow Janie to repeat. Ruff, ruff. You know, she may not be that talkative, but you may hear some of the sounds coming out. Right, guys? And look. So guess what? I'm not going to show Jane the pictures. Here, Jane. I'm going to put Jane in my lap just to make her feel a little more comfortable and secure. Here, Jane. All right. So I'm showing Jane the book. Allow them to see. Don't stay from far. And guess what? Your books must have large pictures. Large pictures, guys for them to be able to recognize what is in there. You can't give them this little teeny book, which they will not be able to understand what is, what is, in, what is in there, right? And they'll be able to touch as well. They should be able to touch the pictures. So here, Jane, here we have a duck. And guess what, guys? The book must be soft. You can't use the hard books because they may cause an accident. Jane can even be holding onto the book and she used it to hit herself, causing an accident. So ensure that you have soft books, soft interactive books for them. Look, Jane, here is a duck. Touch a duck for mommy. Yes, the yellow duck. And here is a cat. The cat says, meow. Let's touch a cat, Janie. Touch a cat for mommy. Wow, beautiful. Guys, ensure you praise them. Praise them so they can feel good about themselves. Remember, praising them helps to build their self-confidence and self-esteem. Wow. Look, Janie, it's a dog. And the dog is saying, woof, 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 woof. Say woof, woof for mommy. Woof, 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 woof. And the dog is brown, Janie. Yes. Keep telling them that, to teach them about colors so that later they will know it. Even if you, a matter of fact, just do it every day. And then eventually you may start hearing Jay, mommy, that's brown. Yes, it works, it does work. Here is a cow, moo, 
And on that farm he had some cows. Ea, ea, oh. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, here a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had some cows. Ea, ea, oh. Wow, wasn't that amazing? That was definitely amazing. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your nose. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, say hello, hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say hello. Say hello to your cousin, Jane. Say hello to your cousin. Yes, cousin Amira. Amira says hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. All right, guys, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to give Jane her tummy time. Yes. Now, tummy time, like I said before, it's very important. There are times when you, you should do it. Let me tell you when it's such a good time, an awesome time to do tummy time. When you have just done diaper changing, right? When you have just, when the child has just got up, like the child was sleeping, the child just woke up, give her tummy time. Now, guys, lay the baby on the stomach, right? Remember? Lay beside the baby. Good. Look at it. Lay beside the baby. Allow the baby to move freely. Watch the baby keenly. You don't want any accident, right? Give the baby eye contact. Look at the baby properly. Wow, Janie. Very good. Guys, even if Janie never do anything, you just clap Janie the same way. Clap her. Good job, Janie. And you roll Janie over. Tickle her, woo Jenny! And you turn her back again. So keep doing it until you see she start making some form of progress. Good job, Jenny! Wow! Remember, we're trying to develop their muscles, their gross motor skill. We want Jenny to be walking early or at the right time. We would like for Jenny to be able to run, crawl, climb, do everything. Lead them if they want to climb everywhere. It's very important. It's fine. Let them climb all they want. It's just for you to be there to prevent the accident because they're actually building their muscles, their gross motor skills. You want athletes, don't it? Of course. Track star, swimmers, muscle development. So it's very much important that you do this, do these things to your baby. We want happy babies. Sing to them. It's just a pity they're not going to school at this time. But as parents and as caregivers, it's your responsibility to ensure that these things are done with your treasures or with your babies. Give them an early stimulation. Yes, an early stimulation is very much important. It's, all, it's an awesome thing to do. You want them to be able to, to be good speakers. And remember, when you speak, they are imitating your language. Yes, their language is being developed. So we, we as parents have to be careful what we say around them because they will definitely be repeating all that you have said. Yes, so talk to them. Hey, Janie, look, it's Mr. Sun on the outside. All right, guys. Janie, we're going for a break. Say so we'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Guys, 
Jamie, say welcome back. All right, guess what? Guess what we're about to do? Jaina's been inside for a while, so now it's outdoor playtime. All right, Janie. Remember yesterday? By the way, Janie's 18 months. Yesterday, remember, Auntie taught you about the color yellow. Remember the yellow ball? Yellow. And today, we'll be looking at the blue ball, Janie. Guess what, guys? This blue ball makes sound. Janie loves to hold the blue ball. Hold the blue ball for mommy and shake it. Awesome! And it is super soft. Yes, it is. Remember, we spoke about building the muscles, the fine motor skills. So Janie loves to squeeze the blue ball. Blue, let's kick the blue ball. Guys, we're trying to develop Jane's gross motor skill as well. So activities such as kicking is important. Kick the blue ball, Janie. Come on, kick for auntie, kick. Yes, Janie's kicking the blue ball. And here we have a blue container, blue. Yes, blue container, touch it, Janie. Good job, take it up. So we're helping her to build her fine motor skills as well. Take it up, good, all right. Yes, now Janie, look. Here we have the yellow things over here, the yellow block, a soft block for Janie. We're not using the hard ones because we want to prevent accident. The yellow container and the yellow ball. Look at that. And we have the blue things over here, Janie. Remember, we looked at the yellow ones already. And today we're looking at the blue ones. Blue. B -b blue. Blue begins with the letter B. B -b -b blue. All right. Now, Janie, you're going to take up the blue ball. So Janie's now running. Janie's taking up the blue ball, the blue ball, the blue ball. Janie's taking up the blue ball. There she goes. Janie's taking up the blue container, the blue container, the blue container. Janie's taking up the blue container. There she goes. Remember, we spoke about stimulation because we would really like Janie's gross motor skill to be developed. Come on, Janie. Janie's kicking the blue ball, the blue ball, the blue ball. Janie's kicking the blue ball. There she goes. Blue. Hey, Janie. But guess what? I want to know if you remember the colors. We have done the yellow. Remember, Janie? And we have done the blue. So what you're going to do for me, I'm going to put them all over the place. And you are now going to take up the yellow ball for Auntie. Janie, I don't want to take it up. I want to kick it. Janie's about to kick the yellow ball, the yellow ball, the yellow ball. Janie's about to kick the yellow ball. There she goes. Yay! And Janie kicks the yellow ball. Guys, it is so important for you to do these things with them. You have to do it in a fun way. Come on, grab their attention. And remember, you don't just want them to be inside playing with video games and tablets, right, Janie? Janie wants to go outside because school is not in session and she wants to play. She wants to exercise. Take them outside, guys, in the grass, just like at school. Let's pretend that they're at school. Come on, home should be away. At school. It should just be a little away from school. Same thing that's done at school, same thing you do at home. Build that environment for them. Right, Janie? Janie, you're now going to take up one blue container. It's very much, it's awesome for you to integrate. Even though we're focusing, even though you're focusing on colors, you can integrate as well. When I say integrate, I mean put other things in, like you're going to put a little math in, maths, phonics, Colors, integrate everything. Janie, take up one blue container for Auntie. Come on, Janie. Praise them to guys. You have to praise them to build your self-confidence. Come on, Janie. Run. Take up the blue plate for the blue container. Take it up. Woo! Good job! Yay! 
Janie knows the color blue. Can Janie take up the yellow container for Auntie? Come on, Janie. Janie's taking up the yellow container, the yellow container. Ah, oh, awesome. Look at that. Janie knows the color yellow. Very good. Give her a clap. Yeah, hooray for Janie. Hooray for Janie. Someone in the house is shouting. Hooray for Janie. One, two, three, four. Who you're going to shout for? Janie. That's who. Guys, motivate them. Children love motivation. And guess what? You can also give her an incentive. Give your child an incentive as well. They get something right, give them an incentive. If they get it wrong, you talk to them about trying harder and keep doing it. Don't give up as parents, though. Keep doing it. Remember, I told you about repetition. You do this over and over for them to get it. Trust me. By the end of the week or in the other week, they will get it. And never you compare your child with another child because every child learns at a different pace. All right. Guess what, Janie? It's story time. All right, so first, what you have to do whenever you're about to read stories to your babies, ensure that they are comfortable, right? They're in a comfortable position. Now, as parents, you have to be theatric. Project your voice when you're reading the story. And guess what? You can't have the story book like this. I went walking. What did you see? I, it's not all about you. It's all about JD right now for me. So it must be all about your child. So put the book closely and ensure they're seeing what you're reading. So you're not reading to them, but you're reading with them. Also teach them that you, you open the book, you use the book from left to right. Here, Janie. So you don't want to have your child starting from the back of the book. So you can give them an early start by teaching them that you open the book, you, you read the book from left to right. I went walking. Look at this, Janie. Here is a man. Touch the man. Get them involved in whatever you are doing. Touch the man, Janie. Wow. And the man is right here. And he is wearing a blue jacket. Yes, Janie. Blue jacket. Just like what my mom just taught you about. Look at it. Blue jacket. Look, touch, touch the man's blue jacket for mommy. There it goes. And Janie's touching the man's blue jacket. Look again, Janie. Guys, remember you're actually building their language too. And recognition of pictures. Look, Janie, what do you see? What do you see? Say basket. Basket. Even if Janie doesn't speak, you keep saying it. One day you will hear her saying basket. Look at the basket, Janie. Yes. Touch the basket. There it goes. Very nice. I saw a black cat looking at me. Look at the black cat, Janie. And remember, what sound does the cat make? Remember, we looked at that earlier. The cat says, Very good, Janie. Janie just said, Meow. Good job. Meow. The cat says, Meow. The doggy says, woof, woof. yes, go right back to where you went before, you have gone before. I went walking. What did you see? Look at this, Janie. This is a horse. Horse. Big horse. And little boy. And you're teaching them concept as well, guys. Big and little. Look at this, Janie, the tree. Later, mommy's going to take you outside to see the trees. Lots of trees are out there. The green tree, awesome. I saw a red cow looking at me. Janie, what does the cow say? Moo, very good. Say moo, Janie. Yes, woo, all right, look again. What do you see, Janie? You tell auntie, what do you see here? What did you say? Say duck, what is this? D 
duck and the duck is green. Green duck. What does the duck say, Janie? Quack, quack. Very good. Good job. Look at this. Here we have two animals. One, two. One, two. One, two. Guys, you do this every day with them. Look at the pig. What sound does a pig make? Anybody? Anybody? The pig says, oink, oink. The pig says, oink, oink. Touch it, touch it, Janie. Touch it, Janie. Very good. Good job. And that's the pig. And the pig starts with the letter P. P, 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 P. Pig. All right. Now, Janie, I'm going to shake. I'm going to shake the rattle. Guys, this is so important. It's wow. Kids love noise enough. They do. It helps with listening, though. Suppose you want to turn it over here. You want to shake it over here. To see how well Janie will respond if she's going to look this way. And Janie turns this way. You put it back over here. And she turns over here. It helps to grab her attention. Simple things like those they can do at home to stimulate them. Right? Now, Janie, when I shake the rattle, you are going to run and take up the blue ball. Right, Janie? Ready? Janie's taking up the blue ball, the blue ball, the blue ball. Janie, ah! And Janie takes up the blue ball. Very much awesome, right? Yes, that's amazing. Shake the ball for mommy. Shake it for Andy. Shake the ball. Good job. Now, Janie loves these activities very much so. She does. Now, Janie, I also have a car. It's a little lorry. Look at it. A lorry. Now, what you're going to do, I'm going to allow you. I'm going to teach Janie a little science. You think they're too small to learn science? No, they're not. We're going to teach her how to push and pull. Remember, Janie is 18 months. Janie, you're going to push and pull. And guess what? Through doing this, it helps her to build her fine motor skills. Why? What is, why is fine motor skills important? Remember, you want her to be able to color, write, if she holds something in her hand, it will not quickly fall out because her fine motor skills are developed. So we are working on that, right? And you should also work on that. So Janie, here you go. You're going to hold it. And she's going to teach you how to push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Your time, Janie. Help them, right? Because the little muscles aren't developed yet. You're assisting in doing that. Hold it. Right. Come on, Janie. So you put Janie there on the floor. You hold it. And you go push, pull, push, pull. And you know that push and pull is a form of science as well. So they are learning science at an early age. Very much important. Very good, Janie. Push and pull. Push, pull. Janie's pushing the lorry. Look at it, pushed again. Yes, push and pull, push and pull. Push is to go forward and pull is to go backward. Push, pull. Come on, Janie, your turn. So you allow your baby, after you have demonstrated whatever is required, then you allow them to show you, to role play what you had just shown to them. Very much important. Remember I said early stimulation is very much important. This is like a prerequisite of what's to come. If you don't help to build their fine muscles and their large muscles, how are they going to be ready? Right? You want them to be able to color within a specific circle, within a specific space. Right. 
and that science. All right, now Jane, Janie, you are going to push the lorry straight to the yellow ball. You see how I'm integrating everything, guys? Janie, you're going to push the lorry straight to the yellow ball. Come on, and Janie's holding on to the lorry. Come on, push the lorry straight to the yellow ball. See that, guys? And they're actually learning how to follow instructions as well. Yes, they're not too small to understand whatever instruction you give them. Push the, the lorry to the yellow ball and they will definitely enjoy it. But always remember that it has to be done in a fun way. You don't have to be a teacher parents to do all these things. These are things that you can do, right? So just do these things with them, help them to develop these skills, right? Come on, Janie, push for mommy, push for auntie. Very good, clap the girl. Praise her for, praise them. Praise them for their effort. Very nice, awesome. All right, Janie, would you like to kick the ball one more time? Come on, let's go. You're going to kick the ball. Kick the two balls. Janie, you're going to kick the blue ball. Kick the blue ball for mommy. Go, Janie. One big kick. Woo! Good job! Very good. And parents, you kick the ball too. You are out there. Don't just allow the babies or the children to be doing it on their own. Remember, you have to demonstrate in order for them to role play or in order for them to imitate. Come on, Janie. Kick the yellow ball now. The yellow ball. Very good. There goes. And by now and next week, Janie should know blue and yellow. Colors are important. Very much so. Clap, Janie, for doing a great job today. Very good. Awesome, Janie. Janie, show, show mommy your nose. Touch your nose, Janie. Yes, your nose. All right. Janie, look who's coming. Look who's coming, Janie. Somebody's coming to see you today. Woo, come on, Janie, guess who's coming? Who is this? Daddy! Woo! Look who's here! Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? All right, now daddy's about to play peekaboo with Janie. Peekaboo, Janie. Come on, daddy, you have to do it too, right? Not just mommy. But daddy will have, daddy will share bonding time with Janie as well. Big Boo, where are you? Come on, Janie. Right, daddy is sharing bonding moments with Janie. Here is daddy. Janie gets to know the sound of daddy's voice. Janie gets to build a connection with daddy. Very much important. Yes, Janie gets to trust daddy as well. Look at it. Here is daddy. Daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy finger, mommy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? All right, so we're going to look in this book. Now this book, Janie's about to look at it, where will she will see the body parts. Now Janie, remember we looked at the body parts and look at the book. Look at it, remember Janie's 18 months, guys? Come on, Janie, the baby is touching his nose. You touch your nose now. Good job. So Janie's actually imitating what she sees in the book. She's doing her own picture reading. Look at it, Janie. And here again, Janie, the baby's touching her eyes. You have two eyes, Janie. Touch your two eyes. Good. Remember, we're still teaching them how to, we're still teaching them to know their body parts, know the names of their body parts and the things they can do with them. You see with your eyes, Jane. Yes, look at the baby smiling. 
It's your turn to smile. Come on, smile, smile. Good job. Very good. Remember, we want happy babies just like us. Smile, JD. And they imitate your personality too. They try to, they, they get your personality. If you're, if you're a happy parent, then you have a happy baby. Ah, look at this. The baby's showing his hand. You show your hand to Janie. Good job. There it goes. Awesome. Ah, we have done so many things today, guys. Wow. What have you learned? What have you learned? Did you learn anything today? Janie, did you teach him anything today? Yes, you did. Guys, it's all about early stimulation and the importance. We want to have our babies fully developed. So it's your responsibility as caregivers, as parents, to ensure that the babies are stimulated properly. Remember, the early stage or the early stages are the most important stages, right? Definitely. Now, they're the most critical, year, critical years as well. And once you do these things with them, they definitely will be ready. Definitely. So don't have any doubt. Trust me, don't. Let's do some wrap up. So Janie learned about colors. Janie learned to recognize her family members, even though she can't see them physically because of COVID. She still, you know, try, you, you should still try to ensure that they are able to recognize them later. You know, show them pictures. You teach them to recognize sounds. Ensure that there is tummy time at least three times per day because we want their, their neck muscles to be developed. Right? Remember to do all these things with them for them to be ready for preschool, to be fully developed. Now, guys, in order for, if you'd like, or in all this information, visit our website or www.ecc.gov.jm for activity plans for your children. Let me do it again. www.ecc.gov.jm for activity plans for your children. It's all there. So don't be at home wondering what you're going to do with your treasures or with your children. Visit our website, visit our website for activities. They're easy, they're laid out just for you to understand. Okay, and remember, children, boys and girls, stay safe, wash your hands or sanitize daily, and remember, social distance, right? Practice, practice social distancing. Right, guys, wear your mask, don't go too close to anyone, and have fun while you're home. Or even if you're, going, you're, if, even if you're at school, have fun. All right, guys, and parents, remember to practice what you learned today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.